want you to have the MCU experience. You may have missed our face-to-face -face open day. So we're taking open day to you. opportunity to explore and discover the full NCU experience by participating in the Northern Caribbean University's virtual Open Day 2023 under the theme Innovate to Elevate. We met on campus in October 2022. But on March 28, 2023, we are bringing the NCU experience to you, our friends and family in the Atlantic Caribbean Union and across the globe. Connect with us for an inspirational showcase of how you can innovate to elevate. Using the registration link on the screen, register now and confirm your attendance. What are you waiting for? Go ahead and click. Join us as we bring the beacon on the hill to you. Remember, MCU builds character, creativity, and competence. See, See you, you there! there. Hello everyone and welcome to this, our virtual Open Day 2023. I'm Trustan Grizzle. And I am Trisha Gay Kelly. Now Trustan, we have so many things coming up in Open Day today, virtual Open Day that is. Yeah. And our theme, before we go into anything, our theme is Innovate to Elevate. Trustan, tell us what's coming up in the program. Well, before we even get to what's coming up in the program, we want to sincerely apologize to those of you who are watching for mm -hmm. the delay. We are truly sorry for that. Now, coming up in today's program, we'll be hearing from uh, an international student what her experience has been like, how transitioning to Northern Caribbean University uh, has been, as well as uh, we'll get a sneak peek from the colleges mm -hmm. that are present here at Northern Caribbean University right. as to the programs that you could possibly do when you enroll here at NCU. I like that word, when. Right. Right. That's faith right there. We also have special items in the program, so we want to invite you to stay tuned for all of that. We also want to give a special welcome to our international students who are a part of the Atlantic Caribbean Union. We want you to know that you are very special to us, very mm -hmm. dear in our hearts, and you are a part of our family here at NCU. And so those trust countries, Trisha Gay, are the Bahamas, Cayman Turks Islands. and Caicos, and yes. Cayman Islands. So yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. And even if you are not a part of ADCO, we still appreciate you being here. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. All this and more in this edition of Virtual Open Day 2023. Stay tuned. At this time, we'll be having a short devotional by uh, our facilitator here in the Department of Communication Studies at NCU, Miss Tony McLean. We're always told to have faith and to trust in God. And in certain situations, it's easier said than done. Now, what is the value of trusting in God? I'm going to give you four. The first, he knows better than we do. God knows everything we're going through at every single moment and everything we will go through in the future. He knows what's best for us. James 1 verse 6 says, But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt. Because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea blown and tossed by the wind. The second reason we should trust in God, all things are possible with God. He knows the desires of our hearts. If you trust in him with the things that you want most, he will take care of it. Mark 9 verse 23 says, If you can, said Jesus, everything is possible for one who believes. Now the third reason we should trust in God, he is worthy of our trust. Having faith is having trust. 
You have to trust him with your entire being, believing that God has your back. Whether it is selecting a school or choosing a life partner, trusting in God is worth it. And my favorite Bible verse, Proverbs 3, verse 5 to 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. And the fourth and final reason, among many, why we should trust in God is he knows what he is doing. God knows exactly what he wants journey called life. I pray that you will help us to understand the benefit of trusting in you because you do know what's best for us. In your holy and precious name, I pray. Amen.
tell you that we had special items coming up in the program. I yeah. did. Right, Tristan? Yes. Yes, yes we, we did. did. All right. So in the program, we have some special nuggets that we need you to pay attention to. And the first one of them will be shown on your screen right now. But just for emphasis, I'm going to tell you what it says. So you can apply and be accepted while awaiting your CSEC results for select academic programs. So for those of you who believe that you need the official records, you do not. You can apply with your pre-done uh, results. Don't wait on your examination results before starting and submitting an application. Benefit from securing possible grants by visiting apply.ncu.edu.jm before March 31, 2023. And that's the early application dates, yeah. trust on. But what is the actual application date? When does it end? That would be May 31. May 31. So you have May an additional 31. month. But we're stressing it. Go and take the early application. Why trust on? Because you can uh, actually experience a couple, a number of benefits if you do mm -hmm. apply early. You know, financial uh, benefits yes. also included in that. And it's March 31, which is right around the corner. So yeah. you'll want to do that now. I was one of those persons who applied early for NCU. And I really, really love that I did. You know? Happy so for you, go ahead, <laughs> apply.ncu.edu.jm. Apply to be a part of NCU. All right, we have something very special coming up in the program, and Tristan is going to tell us, because we have a guest who will tell us a lot about NCU, and we could not have this program and not mm -hmm. include him, of course. So this individual is going to be our university president, Dr. Lincoln Edwards. He will be uh, telling us uh, about NCU and, of course, why you should be a part of the NCU family. All right, no, no, we are, we're going to start with... What makes NCU unique? Well, first let me say a pleasant good morning and welcome to all the students, teachers, and uh, parents and others who are here uh, in this gymnatorium. We are delighted that you have all decided to come and for this special open day at Northern Caribbean University. Yeah. Northern Caribbean University is a unique institution, mm -hmm. firstly because it was established by God. Uh, it, it was established at this spot in 1919, over 103 years ago yeah. about that. And God has led this institution from that time through two pandemics, Right? Remember, we, we had the original pandemic in, in, in 1919 and then uh, the, the COVID-19. And so God has led this institution. So that's why we are, we are special. But also because we have at Northern Caribbean University the most dedicated, the most committed and caring workers. And by workers, mm -hmm. I mean faculty, staff, yeah. right here. And that is what makes this institution so very special. And this is the place where people have come to have their hopes and dreams fulfilled, as is recorded in the alma mater. So I want our students to know that this is the place of champions. Yes, Northern Caribbean University is the only institution in the entire Caribbean that has ever won the Microsoft Imagine Cup, which is the most prestigious technology competition in the world no other institution. We went to Poland and we won that against the world. Another, but we are not finished yet. Northern Caribbean University is the only institution that has won the international business model competition, beating out over 6,000 teams. We have placed ahead of Harvard mm, wow. in other competitions. And in fact, in 2017, when we went to Silicon Valley in California, the home of innovation and technology, and our team then placed fourth, we had three teams, fourth, seventh, and semifinals. The team from Harvard was eliminated in the quarterfinals. So that means all three teams right here from NCU was placed ahead of the team from Harvard. Wow, wow. That means you students, you, your peers are the ones that comprise the team. And so that is what NCU does. It's a place of champions. And, it, and you know, in Jamaica, we're not, 
used to fourth place. We don't settle for fourth place. No, no. So in 2018, the next year, we went to Provo, Utah, and we became first in the world. The only international business model competition. And do you know who the fifth place team was? That second fifth place team was the mighty Johns Hopkins. That's the quality of, of, of schools that NCU has competed against and done well. And that is the institution that we invite you to be a part of. Well said. Now I know that the invite was specially given to schools, high school seniors because they would be transition on, transitioning from high school to university. So as they prepare to transition to the next stage of their um, educational journey, sorry, what advice can you give to them as the president of this institution? Well, what I would advise uh, uh, high school seniors, and I've been a teacher myself, I've taught at Arden, Belair, uh, St. Catherine High, Jose Marti, uh, Willow Dean High, mm -hmm. you know, part-time in most cases, but full-time at Harden. So I, I, I enjoy young people. I've spent most of my life dealing with young people. And I want you to know that perhaps one of the key things you must remember is follow your passion. Yeah. Whatever you like to do, follow that, pursue that, and pursue it relentlessly and do so without apology. Because if you pursue your passion, you, chances are you will do it well. And in life, anything you do well, you will be compensated for it. Mm -hmm. That means you can make a living for it. But even as you pursue your passion, don't do it alone. People were not made to be alone. Pursue it with God. Invite him to be a part of your life and it will make a world of difference. Yeah. You will experience a transformation that nothing else can. And also, I want to encourage you, be part of a network. Don't try to be alone. Ask for help. Let others help you. And that is why we invite you to be, become students at NCU, because Northern Caribbean University belongs to the Seventh-day Adventist system of education, which is the second largest educational system in the world. So we have schools all across the globe. So what that means is that if you come to NCU and you want to pursue uh, your education beyond NCU, there are all these schools, the second largest in the world, yeah. that you can become a part of. Also, chances are you can communicate with students from within the systems, and you can get advice. There's always a way for you to fulfill your hopes and dreams. But we want you to come here to NCU because when you do, I want to be the president four years from now that issue you your, your diploma, your degree. And let me tell you how it is done. You saw it on the screen, but I stand right here. And the registrar hands me your degree holder. And you enter from that area and you march on the stage and I shake your hand and I hand you your degree and we take a picture together. The camera is right here and we take a picture and you march off into the future knowing that when, because you came to NCU, you had your hopes and dreams fulfilled. You are ready now to take on the world. That's what will happen when you make NCU your university of choice. Wow. Thank you, Mr. President. And trust and we're actually looking forward to that next year, August. Right, when right. We graduate and walk across the stage. Mm -hmm. Collecting that degree that we worked so hard for. That is it. That wow. is it. No, no, Prezi. Um, NCU is a liberal arts institution. Yes. Why is that important for anybody here right now? Why is that bit of information even to be considered by them? Because it means that we, we, uh, we do a, a, a wide array of, of studies. So we have the arts, we have the sciences. So students are able to, to choose, mm -hmm. you know, which career path you like. So we have over 50 degree programs that we offer. And so you have those choices. So chances are whatever it is you want to do, you will find it here at NCU. And, and, and we also have our interactive sporting activities. Yeah. And did you know, because you know about Sporting Active, did you know that in the last maybe five or seven years, 
NCU has won the junior intercollegiate junior netball competition, basketball competition, uh, the cricket competition, football competition, and also the male and female badminton competition. Mm -hmm. We have done well in debate competitions. You name it. Even when there was a jingle to introduce the Build Jamaica by Jamaica campaign, that jingle was won by NCU. So wherever there is a competition, NCU is a winner. And yeah. in 2018 and 2019, we were the National Science and Technology Tertiary Champions for research. Beating out all those schools in Kingston that you know about, they were not the champions. Who is the champion? NCU. So whatever the area, whatever the field, NCU prepares you so well that you will excel and you also do so with God. So it doesn't matter. Yeah. Whatever you have, your hopes and dreams will be fulfilled right here at the Northern Caribbean University, a magical place, a place of champions. And when I say magical, I mean that miracles happen. Yeah. Students yeah. come here, you have your challenges, but at the end you leave rejoicing because God provided a way for you to get through this institution. So I'm looking forward this uh, next fall to welcome you mm -hmm. to Northern Caribbean University as new students. And Trish, you know, we, we have been hearing during our tenure here at NCU that NCU is the best. And you know, it, it yes. kind of sounds cliche to a lot of persons. Mm -hmm. But one proof of that is as you reach your fourth year, Right? If you have excelled so well in your studies, organizations begin uh, sending true. for you. That they want true. you. And there are several programs here at NCU where the professional landscape is dominated by right. NCU students. Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to be, be uh, naming, naming all of those. But as an NCU student, I'm, I'm talking to you now, right? As an NCU student, you don't even, well, I'm not telling you not to complete your degree, but the, program, the programs here at NCU, they are so excellent that persons want you even before you have graduated. That's how excellent the programs here at NCU are. And so uh, you don't need to be thinking about any other university anywhere else because NCU is right here. Uh, NCU is the best, and of course, we are situated right here in the cool, cool hills of Mandeville, Manchester. right? Yes. We're not sending you to, to go burn up yourself in the hot sun of right. certain places, you yes. understand? Right, we're not calling any names, but uh, as we seek to wrap up the, the, the program, Trish. Yes, and finally, President Edwards, how are our graduates impacting the national and the global landscape? Well, as I mentioned before, uh, students who come to NCU are so well prepared that when they leave the institution they make their mark in the world. Mm -hmm. So if you, let's start with politics. The former Speaker of the House, uh, the Honorable Pernell Charles Sr. is a graduate of Northern Caribbean University. Current Member of Parliament Robert Miller is a, is a um, graduate of Northern Caribbean University. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Charles' daughter um, She's also a, a, a graduate of Northern Caribbean University, and she's a member of parliament over there uh, in, in St. Thomas, Michelle Charles. Mm -hmm. And then when you get to business, the owner of the Sea Garden Resorts in Montego Bay, a very popular hotel in Montego Bay, Mr. Dennis Morgan, is a graduate of Northern Caribbean University. And if you, uh, the, the CEO of Beryllium, Letitia Myers Gray, is a graduate of Northern Caribbean University. Yeah. The current um, president of the Manchester Chamber of Commerce, a graduate of Northern Caribbean University. Mm -hmm. And if you go overseas in medicine, you have um, Dr. Whitford Reed, a well-known anesthesiologist in the Sebring area. Uh, you go to California, you, you have um, Dr. Herman Ricketts, mm -hmm. well-known cardiologist right there in, in, in Pasadena, California, and there are so many other persons spread across the globe. Yeah. Did you know, students, that the youngest um, contractor for Amazon, you all know about Amazon because you do things online, the youngest contractor for Amazon that does business with them with about 50 employees 
He's mm. a graduate of Northern Caribbean University. Yeah. Corey. So there are so many. So wherever you look, our students are doing well. And then when it comes to theology, the church, the president of Jamaica Union, Pastor Everett Brown, the secretary of Jamaica Union, mm -hmm. um, you know, Pastor Levi Johnson, and, and our treasurer, they're all graduates of Northern Caribbean University. Well-known evangelists like Glenn Samuels, graduate yep. of NCU, the, the conference presidents, and so many pastors are graduates of NCU. And even, even pastors who pastor in, in churches that worship on Sunday mm -hmm. are graduates of Northern Caribbean University. They wow. study here and move on. Wow. So you don't have to be a Seventh-day Adventist to come to Northern Caribbean University right. because people believe that. So wherever you want to look, our graduates have done well because this is the foundation that was laid for them. And we are inviting you to follow in their footsteps and to come to the place of champions and to have your hopes and dreams fulfilled right here at Northern Caribbean University, the place of God's planting, the beacon on the hill, and the place where miracles happen and dreams come through. Are you going to be? Let me see the answer of those who would like to think about coming to NCU. Ah, there you go. Put up those hands. Don't be afraid. I said think about it. <laughs> You're not making a commitment today, but it's good, and we hope to see you here. So thank you very much for coming today. And with that, we want to thank President Lincoln Edwards for giving us some information about NCU and inspiring our students and letting them know why they should come here. Thank you, President right. Edwards. Thank there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a little talk with our university president, Dr. Lincoln Edwards. And of course, NCU is the place you come to to get your hopes and dreams fulfilled. fulfilled. Now, are you wondering what life here at Northern Caribbean University will be like when you enroll? Well, coming up is a video of international students sharing their experience uh, being a student of NCU. Please take a look. My experience here at NCU as an international student has been great so far, mainly due to the association that they have here, the International Students Association, which is filled with a group of diverse students from different countries. My experience at NCU as an international student has been quite interesting. First off, I, I really wanted to go to a place far away from my home country, just experience another culture, be immersed in, a different, in different surroundings. And I got more than my money's worth with NCU. My experience at NCU has been awesome. We have great teachers, some really cool people, and you meet a lot of friends. Well, for my experience at NCU as an international student, I would say the first year or so was very interesting. It was a different cultural situation for me, seeing as I come from the United States. So for a while I had to repeat myself a lot when having conversations with other students. And it proved a bit frustrating, but the more, the longer I was here, the better I started to fit into the culture and I made a lot of different friends and was integrated into a lot of different cultural norms. So I really appreciated having the experience to go to, go to school outside of my country. The program that I do, Mass Communication, it has opened my mind and when I came here all I wanted to do was journalism but then I wanted to do production and you know all these other amazing things and if you participate you realize that there's so much you can do. You can join clubs, you can be a part of the ISA which is the International Student Association. They plan trips, I've been on their trips and it's awesome, it's really fun. And you know, you'll have a good time. Because we all can relate as international students, it made my experience here a great one so far. And I enjoyed that very, very much, and I will enjoy it until my time here it has come to its expected end. Since coming to NCU, my character has developed so much. First and foremost, with the spiritual institutions that we have, like our chapel sessions and worship sessions, and even the prayer meetings in the prayer garden, it has helped me to develop spiritually. 
and to keep in a close relationship with God. Not only that, but I've also learned how to be more of an open person, relating to others and just being more of a people person. I usually was by myself and coming here I felt like I have a second family and so I just feel close to them and I feel like very comfortable in having a warm and loving environment. NCU has improved my competency in many ways. Before I came here I was homeschooled the majority of my schooling and went to regular high school for my senior year and when I came here I was introduced to a larger, more social environment and a completely different environment than I was used to, which helped me greatly in terms of interpersonal communication and just expressing myself in general. Um, independence and all that was also a very big part of it, along with academics. So NCU also has challenged me in terms of creativity with how I earn money on a consistent basis. When I first was trying to apply for a job on a campus, I could only get certain jobs as far as the gym and security. So what I ended up doing was creating my own t-shirt company called 24-7, which was an athletic brand for both basketball players, football players, and track and field. It's become very successful since 2017, and I'm glad to say that NCU was the main reason that I had to come up with it. Before I came here, I was not into things like poetry and a couple other things. And when I came here, I think I've developed a lot from almost no really exposure in those areas to where I am now. So I'm thankful for the exposure and the uh, push to express myself that I have felt. Worship services that are held on a regular basis, basically every day, which has helped me to build a better relationship, a better and closer relationship with God, and help me to be the best person I can be in His name. Thank you so much for staying tuned to this or virtual open day 2023. And that video was very interesting. I enjoyed it. And right now we have uh, joining us another international student. She is Juvelin Sergio. Yes. 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 Juvelin Sergio. Oh, wow. That was, that was close. <laughs> Thank you so much Juvelin for joining us. You're welcome. Now, what country are you from? I'm from Haiti. I'm from Haiti. That means you were, you're a French speaker, yes? Yes. So, so what was that transition like coming to a, a country that speaks English? How did you do that? You know, to be honest, it was not an easy thing. Mm -hmm. Because I did not know any English before I came here. I came here in 2017 mm -hmm. and I st started NCU doing ESL, English mm -hmm. as a second language, yeah. in January 2018. So it okay. was not easy because I was by myself. Yeah. The only Asian that I knew, she was not close to me enough so I could get her to help me mm -hmm. like you know go around go shopping or try to express something to somebody it yeah. was not really an easy thing oh, wow that <laughs> that must have been um, terrifying uh, and any other thing that you want to say <laughs> <laughs> all right so so the the experience here at NCU overall tell us about that apart from the language barrier because mm -hmm. People, people laugh at me, you know, when you say something funny without knowing, yeah, yeah. people laugh. <laughs> and I try to, I, how, how should I say that? You know, get used to it. Yeah, so I, yeah. I started to have fun with it. So mm -hmm. I said something, well, it's not my language. So, <laughs> and other thing is that it's, well, it was not easy because sometimes try to make friends mm -hmm. was a little bit hard, hard. too oh, but wow. because i'm um, naturally i'm sociable yeah. so i just integrate myself yeah. 
it, that's why I really enjoy and I would, if I had to do it again, I mm. would do it over again. Love that, <laughs> love that. Uh, tell us uh, at least one thing that you're grateful for being here at NCU. Being here at NCU, I have a lot of things I'm, that I'm grateful for. Right, give us two, give us two. <laughs> <laughs> two things. I'm grateful for, 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 for nice people that I meet. Mm -hmm. oh. And also, I'm grateful for the new things that I learned that I yeah. did not know before. The, the culture here, did you really know about Jamaica before coming here? I heard about Jamaica, but everything that, that I heard about Jamaica, it was all about um, um, ganja and these uh, things. Uh, but I thought when I was coming here, I was going to see people smoking mm -hmm. and making even <laughs> <laughs> porridge. <with them. laughs> so I thought it was going to be ganja everywhere. Yeah. You know, when you're, on, when you're um, in place and mm -hmm. when you somewhere else hearing about somewhere yeah it's two different things it's totally so different. i'm grateful to be here yeah we have some culture shock mm -hmm. thing but yeah it's a mm. good experience so far well all right tell us tell us what would you want to have known beforehand so that you could have a smoother transition into ncu what i really wish i knew before mm -hmm. is I wish that I could understand exactly what diversity is. Uh, so we are different and we are, we, we are all condemned to live together, even our, mm -hmm. our, our differences. differences. Yeah. So I wish I could understand more that part. Mm -hmm. All right. There is somebody watching right now, right? And they're contemplating, should I make this transition to NCU? Because that's in a whole new country. That is Jamaica. Um, they, you know, it's, they, they just do not know if they should do it. What advice would you have for such an individual? Listen, you see my advice for you if you're watching me? Just come, apply. And come have fun. Mm -hmm. Live your life. Come and learn a new language. You know? <laughs> Don't mind anybody talking. It's going to be good for you. And here at NCU, listen. If I was not the type of person that I am, I just push myself and I get everything done. My school fee paid. Mm -hmm. It's not because that I had somebody helping me. But when you integrate yourself, you, you, you just put yourself with everybody else. You know, mm -hmm. everything will work out. Don't worry. Wow. wow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for stopping by and uh, sharing your experience with us. Uh, Jovelin, really appreciate it. You're welcome. It was a pleasure. All right. Thank you. Uh, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Hearing there from uh, a, a Haitian. Yes, she is from Haiti. And she, she made the transition here to NCU right here in Jamaica. At this time, we are going to be having our second nugget. And uh, that is to tell you that you can matriculate without CAPE. Really? Yes, you can matriculate without CAPE. In fact, you can get into any program here at NCU without completing the first and or second units of CAPE. Applicants who have CAPE, however, can benefit from credit transfers if their CAPE subjects align with their selected program of study. Now, what does this mean? Uh, for, for example, I did one unit of CAPE and uh, for all the courses I did there in high school, if it is that they correlated with what I would have done here at NCU, then uh, I would not need to do those uh, courses here at Northern Caribbean University because I would have already done them in Cape. But do you need Cape to come to NCU? Absolutely not. You don't. Don't wait on the don't don't wait to spend a year or two at your, your various institutions before coming to NCU because you don't need CAPE, all right? Go ahead and apply now. Apply.ncu.edu.jm. Thank you.
<laughs> and boy, did I, in I enjoyed that interview so I much. I did. How about we go back and put Juvelin over here so I can do <laughs> the interview? Because I like the little interaction. Yeah, I, I, I liked it. I liked she it. She thinks all of it smoke. <laughs> Man, I, I wish I was doing the interview instead of you, yeah. but that's okay. That's okay. Coming up right now, we told you that you would have heard or you would hear from the program instructors and hear what we offer in the different colleges. And so at this time, we're going to have the College of Education and Leadership as well as the College of Business Management. Take a look. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Open Day. I missed this. Woo! looking so good. All the schools came out and really showed up. And I think you missed it too. Teachers, you're happy to bring them out, right? <laughs> Welcome to NCU. Now I'm representing the College of Education and Leadership. Now in this college, we offer programs not just for undergrad students, but also for our teachers who would like to pursue their masters in leadership or curriculum and also PhDs just dropping a hint there for the teachers. And also in our undergrad program, we have several programs, accredited programs, and we offer secondary education, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science in secondary education. We also have a BA in primary education, early childhood education, and our recent program, our special education bachelor's program. We also have a certificate in special education. So whatever program you decide to align yourself with, you can also do a certificate in special education. All our programs are accredited. And whether you like to believe it or not, teachers are the most important people in the world. <laughs> teachers make all other professions possible. What would the world be like without teachers? A dull, dull world, I'm sure. In our department, we also have a student club, the sales clubs. And in our student club, we get involved in different activities, outreach programs, different competitions with JCDC. In our college, we, we are also great researchers. And so we've been bringing home the Championship Cup for quite a bit of years now. If we're not first, we're second, never third. And we're always doing research to improve the practice of education. At our booth, which you will see later, we have on display samples of work that our students have done. The theme for today is what? Who remembers the theme for today? Innovate to elevate. And we believe that teachers are the best innovators. And so on show, we have um, samples of classroom innovations, things that teachers would use to help to enhance the teaching and learning experience. We're looking forward to seeing you stop on by our booth, and we just want to encourage you to embrace the opportunities that exist in the field of education. Not just classroom teachers, the, there is limitless, limitless opportunities. And of course, I'm repping Clarendon College, have to big up my school. Yes, have to pick up my school all the way in Clarendon. Thank you all for coming, and we look forward to having a great day. God bless you. I'm not going to keep you very long because I realize some people are standing and you're hot and you're fanning and all of that. Just to say to you that in the College of Business, we have excellent programs. And what is different from studying business at NCU from UTEC or anybody else is that we turn out ethical professional business leaders because you can study accounting anywhere but we have too many scammers and crooks in this country so we want to make sure that when you graduate from the College of Business you are an ethical business leader. When you come to our booth, you will hear some more about the different programs we offer. Just want to tell you one little exciting piece of news before I leave. We are located right over there. That's our booth over there. We have a little trivia for you. There's a jar with some coins and the person who guesses the correct amount of coins, we have a wonderful prize for you. 
on the outside we are going to be having some food preparation demonstration and you know, plenty so everybody probably won't be able to taste but some of you at least will be able to taste the goodies that will be prepared we have our chef standing by and a whole lot of goodies for you so we look forward to seeing you at the college of business booth welcome everybody and we are glad you came you heard there from the representatives from the College of Education and Leadership, as well as the College of Business Management. And uh, yeah, for those of you who are interested in uh, completing programs in any of those colleges, then sure, go ahead right now and make your applications. All right. So, Tristan, we have something coming up. We have a past student, an alum from, and I believe he studied theology. He's now a pastor. In Where? In the Bahamas. In the Bahamas. So he's a part of ATCO. So I know this is a very special moment for you all. Take a look. Hello, NCU. My name is Jan Dorset, better known to my NCU family as Sydney. I am a graduate of the School of Religion and Theology, and I had the wonderful privilege of earning my Bachelor of Arts degree in Pastoral Ministry from NCU. NCU has been a wonderful blessing to me. It has helped to prepare me for my current role in various ways. But allow me just to speak to you today of three ways. Connections, concepts, and companionship. So number one, connections. While at NCU, I made meaningful connections with fellow classmates, fellow students who were spiritual motivators. They were emotional motivators really good forms of support during my journey and up to this day i am still in contact with some of them secondly i made connections with the members of the university church where i had a privilege of serving i had the privilege of serving there and gaining more practical experience and so made wonderful connections with the church members and then thirdly there were many pastors who were from the Inter-American Division who would come to NCU in the summer months to further their studies. And I had the opportunity of rubbing shoulders with them, receiving mentorship and receiving wonderful counsel from these men of God. Secondly, concepts. I remember one course in particular where the lecturer required of us to study about 10 chapters in I think about a week. And I wasn't used to doing so much reading in such a short amount of time. But the lecturer really expected a high standard from the theology students. And it was because of courses like that where I learned to do responsible research that would help me in my sermon preparation and in my ministry. I also did courses like Hebrew and Greek and evangelism and field practicum where I learned and I put to use wonderful concepts that I had been taught in the classroom. And then thirdly and finally, companionship. I must say that it wasn't my intention to find my wife while at NCU, but God has a way of surprising us. And I met my lifelong companion, Jessica, while studying at NCU. She was also a student there. Uh, we served together in campus ministry, and uh, I got married to her in 2019, and she is a wonderful blessing to my ministry and to my life overall. And so all of these things were as a result of me attending NCU. I am not doubtful that if you attend NCU and you put God first, you can have a similar and a wonderful experience, possibly even a greater experience than I have had. So consider NCU and may God bless you as you consider this wonderful institution. Thank you so much. If you put God first and you apply for NCU, you will most certainly have a mm -hmm. wonderful experience. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yes, I, I like do. That. And he did say, it is possible for you to find your partner here. <laughs> <laughs> so come on down and try a thing. <laughs> yes, you will see how God works for you. In miraculous ways. <laughs> In miraculous <laughs> ways. All right, so we're moving on to our third nugget. And I want you to pay attention to your screen once again. 
So for those of you, you know you're international students and you may not have family here in Jamaica. And you may be wondering, where are you going to live? Well, we have boarding facilities here on campus. They are available at the main campus, to be specific. We have three dormitories. We have Jamaica Hall and Leela Reed Hall for females. And for our males, we have Cedar Hall. After acceptance, you can begin to secure on-campus housing. And I want to repeat that part. After acceptance, you can begin to secure on-campus housing. So go ahead and make a few calls. Apply first so you can get accepted. And then we can sort out the living conditions. Yeah, so, so that's one stress down. Yeah, that's one, one thing down. down. Well, thank you so much for that, Trish. At this time, we are going to be hearing uh, from... Uh, the college. The college colleges right and yes. the school so so right now we're going to be hearing from the college of humanities, humanities behavioral, behavioral and social sciences that's our college that's our college as well as the college of natural and applied sciences allied, allied health, health and nursing and finally we'll be hearing from the representative from the school of religion and theology I want to bring you greetings from the College of Humanities, Behavioral and Social Sciences. It is El Numero Uno on this campus. And we have five departments in this college. We have the Department of Humanities. We have the Department of Communication Studies. We have the Department of Music and Fine Arts. We have the Department of Behavioral and Social Sciences. And we have the Department of Graduate Psychology. Scattered across this uh, college, just though we have over 1,000 students, when you come, we're going to be 1,000 strong plus you. So we're looking forward to having a wonderful time with you. Our booths are scattered across the back. You will see the criminal justice section over there. And for those of you who, have come, who came in earlier, you will recognize that something happened to Santa Claus. In the far corner, Santa Claus is in trouble. And um, we're going to be doing some investigation about that um, in the criminal justice section. We also have music scattered over there. We have humanities over there. And we have the behavioral and social sciences over that section. Welcome to NCU and welcome to the College of Humanities, Behavioral and Social Sciences. Do have a happy rest of the day. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to NCU and welcome to the College of Natural and Applied Sciences, Allied Health and Nursing. My deans appointed me representative to say welcome and to introduce the college. In this college, we have every great department. We have the Department of Nursing. We have the, de <laughs> we have the Department of Computer and Information Sciences. We have the Department of Dental Hygiene. We have the Department of Nutrition and Dietetics. We have the Department of Biology, Chemistry and Environmental Science. We have the Department of Medical Technology. We have the Department of Mathematics and Engineering. And we have the School of Public Health. Yes, so we have everything you ever thought of or needed. We have it in Sina San. We have undergraduate and graduate programs. And we have our booths. We have the nursing booth out there. We have the computer booth out there, which is being hidden. It has its robotics and there's a television set over there. We have the bio booth at the corner there. I know Medtech was searching for a place. I know Nutrition was searching for a place. We just want to tell you that this is the department, or the college rather, to be in. You want to be a nurse because some of you want to help others and also to travel. You want to be a medical technologist, you know those people that take your blood and do your blood tests. We have the persons that clean your teeth. We have the persons that become doctors, because a lot of our graduates from the bio department do become doctors. So we want to encourage you to do well in school and join us at CNASAN, that's the College of National Applied Sciences, Allied Health and Nursing. Thank you. My name is Pastor Odika Walker. I extend greetings and welcome to you on behalf of Simon, Dr. Simon Bombali, Dean of the School of Religion and Theology. 2,000 years ago, God became man and set up the work of grace. The School of Religion and Theology continues to register to come and to join us. We believe that in a little while, Jesus will come and will not tarry. And we want to be prepared to go home. When this world is on fire, 
We want to be in the kingdom rejoicing with the saints. God bless you. We look forward to welcoming you at the School of Th Religion and Theology. Thank you. Wonderful, wonderful. There you have it. That was nice. It was yeah. a it was a mouthful hearing from mm -hmm. the different colleges and the school of religion and theology. Yes, but I hope that by now uh, you would have seen the, the the program you want to be a part of. Mm -hmm. Because as we said earlier in the program, we have over sixty undergraduate programs for you to choose from. Mm -hmm. And when you visit that website, apply.ncu.edu.gm you will know exactly what your calling is. Mm -hmm. Tristan, I want to highlight the College of Natural Applied Sciences, Allied Health and Nursing, mm -hmm. because most times we hear CNAS, we don't hear CNAS-san. San, right. And so I learned that today. Yes. I was wondering what to call them by yes. their full name, because it's so long. Right, well, we learned that today. So acknowledge the people the right way. Right. Yes, give Sina them the San. credit they deserve. And in the YouTube chat, Trisha yes. Gay, we have, we have something going on. So we have Dion Johnson, mm -hmm. who is from the Bahamas. Hello, Dion. Right. We have... Uh, we don't want to call anyone's name right. wrong now. Taff. Valicia. Miss Taff. Yes. Yes. She's saying, I'm grateful for this. I was unable to attend the physical open day, but this is making up for it. We're happy for that. We are. Happy for that. Uh, we also have Kamara Thompson Davis who's saying, Go nursing. Mm -hmm. Awesome. <laughs> Best what? Best, Best college ever. I beg to disagree. <laughs> That's okay. We won't start an argument right we'll, now. We'll agree to this. We'll, we'll agree, agree to, to dis disagree. Right, right. And at right. this time, we want to take the time to say, Please drop your flags in the chat. Yes. yes. Tell us where you're from. Yes. Let us see the countries that are represented mm -hmm. here today at our virtual Open Day 2023. And at this time, we have our final nugget that we'll be sharing with you, our final nugget. And that is to say that you can study part-time through modular classes. So if it is a case where you want to work in the day and go to school in the night, you can do so via modular classes. Those classes are facilitated between 5.30 p.m. and 8.30 p.m. Uh, and as you said, it is for those who are working full-time. The modular option offers a flexible and affordable avenue to work and study to achieve your goals. Mm -hmm. And of course, you won't be the first person to do this. And you definitely so, won't be the last. And you won't be the last, right? <laughs> right. So it is, it is doable, yeah? Yes, you can work in the day, go to school in the night because you know the tuition needs to be paid. So yeah. that is another option. All right, there's something exciting coming up that I know Tristan wants to introduce. I'm going to give you the opportunity. Yes, at this time, we are going to be taking a tour of the campus of Northern Caribbean University. Hi, welcome to Northern Caribbean University. I am Wellington Mosquera, and today I am at the entrance of this institution located in Mandeville, Manchester, Jamaica. For some of you, you know this institution in the old time as West Indies College. But today, taking advantage that we are celebrating our 2022 homecoming, uh, the 2022 homecoming, then I'm using this opportunity, or we are using this opportunity to just take you a little bit inside of the campus so that you can see and probably remember some of the, the places that are in this institution. So if you are interested, just come with me and let's take a tour. 
Okay, this is the entrance of Northern Caribbean University, main campus in Mandeville. And if you come with me right now, we are going to the main entrance and I'm going to take you to the circle of knowledge. The circle of knowledge is the symbol that you see in our logo. This side we have the university press. We have the main security. Uh, well, uh, there is the security. Here we have somebody cleaning the flowers, getting ready for the homecoming. Is everything good? Yes, everything good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we are preparing for the celebration of the homecoming 2022. So let me take you there. This is the main entrance. We turn around, first building that we have there is the Cedar Hall, that's the male dorm. And this is the main entrance. I know that for a lot of you, uh, this, this entrance is very familiar. Those who probably have not been here at NCU in a long time, We'll probably see some changes, some others. The new ones probably don't see any changes, but the old ones I am sure. And here we are, this is the circle of knowledge. Let me show you, it was donated by who? And sorry about the noise that we have in the background. People are cutting the the trees and put in the yard to make everything clean so that it's ready for for the homecoming. What we see here it was donated by the class of 2002. Class of 2002 and this is the circle of knowledge is the symbol that we see in our logo. That was a short preview mm -hmm. of the, the campus of Northern Caribbean University. And of course, you can go over to our YouTube page uh, at NCU and you will see the video that has the extended version of the campus tour. Because, mm -hmm. you know, for the females, they would like to see uh, Leela Reed Hall as well as Jamaica Hall yes. and our cafeteria and other, uh, the gymnatorium. Yes, the gymnatorium, agreed. of course, uh, and other uh, places that are on, on campus. campus. So, Go over to our YouTube page, uh, scroll, and you will find, find the extended version of the campus tour right on our page. I want to take the opportunity, Trustan, to highlight Mr. Tyreek Brooks, who would have sent his country's flag in the chat. So big up Tyreek from Antigua and Barbuda. Thank you, Tyreek, for participating. Nice. And thank you all who are interested and so involved in the chat. Trustan, unfortunately... Hmm. We are coming to a close. Yes, yes, we are. But this was a very info informative uh, mm -hmm. session. It was interesting. And I hope that uh, those who are watching now, they would have identified which college, which program they want mm -hmm. to be a part of, which college they want to be a part of. And if not, you know, it is not too late. You can still visit apply.ncu.edu.jm. And the early period for registration it ends on March, March 31st. 31. Yeah. And that is in three days? I believe so. Three days time. So yes. you have until the 31st of March to apply for the early bird period uh, to get registered for mm -hmm. NCU. I want to add, Tristan, even if you don't know what you want to study, what the name of the program is, but you know what you're interested in, the system has an aspect of it that helps you to find the name of the program because okay. I checked it and I think that's really cool. So you can still go ahead even if you don't know the specific name of the program. Please remember that even though early bird application, the deadline is March 31, the official deadline, the applications remain open until May 31. So go ahead and apply. 
Yeah. Right. And uh, just like that, our virtual open day for 2023 has come to an end. And, and of course, the theme... we want... Man, you're taking the words <laughs> out of my mouth. The theme for today's program was... Innovate to elevate. Innovate to elevate. We hope that uh, you were inspired by this program. Mm -hmm. We are looking forward to meeting you next semester. Our Atco family. Yes, right, we are. Right, right. And, and when, when you're leaving, don't just come alone. You can also bring a friend. Bring you a hear? friend. Tell a friend to, to tell, tell a, friend a friend that Northern Caribbean University is the place where hopes and dreams are, are fulfilled. fulfilled. What is the name of the website that you should visit for your application. I'm Let's say together. You Let's say together. It's apply.ncu.edu.jm. One more time. Apply.ncu.edu.jm. All right. So you can yeah. go over right now. Apply for NCU. The right? amount of times we've said that they should have applied yes. twice <laughs> by now. But trust and unfortunately, we do have to go. Yeah. And we want to say thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening. And we do hope that if you apply, when you apply, you will enjoy your tenure here at Northern Caribbean University. I'm Trisha Gay Kelly. And I'm Trustin Grizzle. Thank you so much to the production team yes, as well for making definitely. this show possible. And until, of course, mm -hmm. you're going to say until then, but trust them, they aren't seeing us after this. <laughs> They're not going to see us. Until whenever. Yes, we're saying goodbye. And of course, we're going to close with the alma mater.